How'd you like to set a song as the ringtone on your iPhone? If you want to use your favorite song custom ringtone for incoming phone calls or text messages, you're certainly not alone. Thanks to Apple's GarageBand app, you can set literally any song as a ringtone right on your iPhone and without needing iTunes. Best of all, it's completely free to use. And to get started, first download the GarageBand app on your iPhone. Step 2. Tap the plus button on the upper right part of the screen or the Create Song button. Step 3. Go to Tracks and then find Audio Recorder and select Voice. Step 4. After this, you'll be inside the timeline or workplace of the application. Turn off the metronome icon found on the upper part of the screen beside the red play button. This will turn off the ticking sound on the audio. Step 5. Then select the loop symbol on the upper right side of the screen. After the window opens, you can now choose the song you want either from Apple Loops, Files, or Music. If your song is saved on iTunes, you should choose Music. If it's on your device's file, you should choose Files. And if it's on Apple Loops, you should choose Apple Loops. Step 6. Drag your chosen song to the Track Timeline workspace. Step 7. Tap the plus button found on the upper right side of the screen and set the duration to 30 seconds. For the file to save as your ringtone, the file should only be 30 seconds or less. Step 8. Start trimming the desired section by dragging either side of the track. Note that you should choose the section of music you want since the app will automatically choose the first 30 seconds of the song if you didn't. Step 9. After that, you should exit the timeline and go back to your track list. Hold the icon of your chosen ringtone, which is automatically named My Song. Step 10. A selection window will appear with the options. Select the Share and then click on the ringtones option. Step 11. Another window will appear where you can write your desired file name. And finally, you can now export your track. Now, let's go check the track and see that it's saved. Just a second and we will play it. Awesome. We hope you guys enjoyed this tip for creating custom ringtones. Thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you all in the next video. Oh.